What's up, awesome people? Yeah, that's right, you. You watching this video, you are awesome. Speaking of awesomeness, we have a really awesome tutorial today because we're gonna create some really cool ink splatter reveals. Maybe you're working on a promo video, an opener, maybe you wanna create some transitions between clips. So we're gonna create a very easy ink splatter reveal. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope everyone is doing awesome. I use that word quite a bit already. So let's go jump into this tutorial and let's get started on creating a really cool ink splatter reveal. And if you want to follow along with this project, you can download this project file for absolutely free off our website. Links in the description. All right, so we got After Effects loaded up and I have two images here. This could just be anything. This could be a motion graphics composition or some video. I just have two images in here to keep the tutorial simple. Now, all you're going to need to get started is an ink splatter. I will link in the description a place where you can download ink splatters for free, but you can also download this project file and get the ink splatter uh, that we're going to use right here. So once you have an ink splatter downloaded, you can bring it into your main composition and we'll turn it off real quick. The first thing I suggest doing is organization. So I would take your first you know, composition or if it's the only one you're working with, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you grab that layer. You go to layer pre-compose and we can call it placeholder one, move all attributes into new composition. Then I would take your second clip and pre-compose that as well and call it placeholder two. This way you can make changes later and you can drag and drop new clips in there. Then offset your second layer in time if that's what you're looking to do. So now we can turn our ink layer back on and what we need to do is get rid of this white background. So we'll go to effect color correction curves and we're simply going to take the bottom here and make this really black like that and then we'll take the top and blow it out. And now we have this where we need to be able to toggle switch the modes and set the blend mode to multiply. So I want to speed up our current ink so I'll right click the layer, go to time and do a time stretch and I'll set this to 40 so this will speed it up by a lot. And we run through this, you can see we have a very nice ink splatter that expands throughout our image and that's very important. So what I'm gonna do here is grab this ink and I'm gonna pre-compose it as well because we're gonna need to create a, a composition that covers everything. So I'll just call it ink one, click okay. All right, and we're gonna reset our blend mode to multiply. All right, so I'll go back in this composition and I'll take this layer, go to edit, duplicate and we hit R on our keyboard for rotation and I can rotate it by 180 degrees and it'll be right there at the top. I can move it around the composition. I can also maybe offset the bottom one by a little bit and then come here in the timeline and move it over by just a hair. So that's what we got. I would also advise you to go up to layer new solid and make this a white background. Click OK and put this underneath everything. So we got this. Awesome. So how do we tie this all together? So we'll go back into our main composition. So I'm gonna take this ink layer and make sure it starts at our second clip. This could be at your first clip, it doesn't matter. And we'll go to the track mat here. And if you don't see the track mat, toggle switch the most until you do. Go to your second placeholder, set it to Luma inverted mat. So now as we scrub through this, you'll see we'll have our image revealed on by our ink splatter. And that is really cool. And it reveals really nice off our background. Uh, we can have a black background as well. You can definitely see that ink a little bit better. You can also you know, create a white background as well, which looks pretty nice. So it's completely up to you how you want to reveal that on. So that looks really awesome. One thing I want to take a look at is what if you need to reveal on the entire image? So you can see on the sides here, um, that's still going to be there. So what I was just doing, go back into that ink composition, duplicate what you currently have, uh, bring it to the top, and then just kind of offset it in time by a little bit. And then just take those layers and kind of just fill in the spots and kind of just fill in the, you know, the spaces that are mostly white. This way it'll help fill that up. And then you also just to maximize this, you go to layer, new, solid, and you can create a black solid. And then you can just kind of hit T and keyboard for opacity, add a keyframe for that, and then just set the opacity down 0%. So like it'll just close up like that. That's all you have to do if you need to do a clean transition over to your main scene so you see reveals on and closes up and like that so therefore you're able to you know do a clean transition now we're not done here take this a little bit further and show you how we can overlay some ink splatters here you can see that we have this multicolored ink going through our composition here and also here on the side just kind of help stylize this a little bit more and keep it subtle you know so what we can do is bring in that original ink we're using the same exact element because you can just use it in different ways you know i'll just offset it in time 
and I'll just hit multiply on it. Then I'll go to effect color correction curves and I'll come here to the red channel. I can like completely change the color of it and then go to like the green channel. Kind of bring that down there. That's cool. Blue channel, you know, kind of change whatever color you need to do. And then I can bring up the opacity and set it down to like 50% or something. Perfect. Therefore, you know, we have this extra, you know, ink element going through uh, that looks really cool. And it's kind of just there to add more detail to it. So you can duplicate that around your composition um, and make it look cool if that's what you are interested in doing. Now, a quick technique to easily duplicate what you currently have. We can just take our composition, copy it. So like I have this other scene I like to transition to. Um, all I have to do is kind of just paste that in there and I go to layer, transform, flip horizontal layer transform flip vertical and then once again bring that right above our placeholder and set that to luma inverted matte and as you can see you'll be good to go transitioning over to your next scene just by quickly duplicating what you need to duplicate and i have that extra ink overlay uh, just to help enhance the composition so obviously this tutorial was all about creating the brush stroke transitions and if you're looking to create other elements i want to give our motion graphics starter pack a huge shout out which is this extension right here in after effects which has over 500 elements uh, that you can apply into any composition really quick ranging from accent motion graphics to titles transitions and logo animations so we can come here and apply something called an accent title with a click of a button and within a click of a button we've added an accent title which add these nice accent graphics along with the title animation that we can go and adjust everything in so for example we can come into our title layer change out our title and then change any parameters that we need to quickly change the colors of our graphics with our control layer and within a few clicks of our templates you're able to change out what you need save a lot of time and produce awesome work so if you want to check out our motion graphics starter pack, that link will be in the description. If you do pick it up, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So that concludes our tutorial on creating this ink splatter opener transition reveal for your promos, for your videos. It can be for whatever. There's a lot of uses for this and it's just a really cool creative effect. And as you see, it's very easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.